for Shelton, folks. Ohio State is fired up and ready. Just listen. Troy Smith, the quarterback, again handled the ball once. Antonio Holmes goes out now to the right side. Brandon Joe has been the workhorse running back as the Buckeyes have decided to come with a big back attack against this Michigan front. Smith got one on one. Caught by Holmes. First down at the 25 yard line. A beautiful one on one throw that time by Troy Smith who put it right on the hands for 34 yards. Right off the line of scrimmage, Marlon Jackson did not get his hands on Antonio. Once he got by him in a perfect throw, there's nothing Marlon Jackson could do to stop that play. There's Santonio out of Belglade, Florida, down in Palm Beach, now offensively. And that, and that credit has to go to Troy Smith. He and Teddy Gimp. Those two guys has made this morbid Big Ten offense into a very effective one. Here's third down and four. Smith fires. Touchdown, Holmes. What a beautiful delivery by Troy Smith, who was going to throw, pumped it, and then caught a cut by Santonio and hit him for the touchdown. protection by the Ohio State line and a professional route by Santonio San Holmes. You will not see a better route run by anybody in college football than when Holmes schooled Marlon Jackson on this play. It's done. Mike Nugent adds the extra point. Watch this route. Marlon Jackson thinks it's going to be a fade. Goes up top, Santonio Holmes throws him out of the way, gets inside, and Troy Smith puts it right on the number four. Look at that. Marlon tries to get physical, and Holmes throws him out of the way, and another long drive. And Brady knew that this was going to be a breakout season, or at least a season of opportunity for him. He said he wanted to become the Buckeyes' go-to guy. So what did he do in the offseason? Every day, he reported for 6 a.m. workouts to the weight room four times a week, in addition to his regular strength and conditioning schedule. There was only one problem with all of it, Brent. Somebody had to get up at 6 o'clock with him to let him in so that he could work out. Yes, indeed. And so someone didn't get it, just even for victory formation, one guy to stay out there, one play. The celebration can begin. The Ohio State Buckeyes upset the Michigan Wolverines 37-21. Now it's third down. Frost goes past Mangold. Throws Santonio Holmes, and he caught it just for a first down. A wonderful pattern here by Santonio Holmes. You can see in the shotgun, when you get Troy Smith in the pocket, he can step into it. He has a wonderful live arm. On the first pass play that was incomplete, and Gonzalez slipped okay. on the play. That's on a third and 14, 15 yards to Holmes. Defensive coordinator Jim Herman thinks the line doing a job. The middle to Santonio Holmes. And uh, he's to the 40-yard line, picking up about six yards on that first down play. The offensive line right now for the Buckeyes, Daddish, Sims, Mangold, Downing, and Barton. Trailing at by nine. Ginn is off to his right. Cravel standing up. Middle. Holmes has got a touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, they're going to call up a celebration dive. Now, how does the official know that San Antonio Holmes didn't think he needed to do that to score? Again, back to Holmes. He's running the same play that was overthrown before. This time, a perfect throw. Splits the defenders, and with, you can see it. Behringer closing on him right there. I think you got to err in favor of the player thinking he had to score. Engelman just can't turn his hips quickly enough at that safety spot. 
And Holmes dives in for the touchdown. 21 19. So a big kickoff. Holmes falling out of bounds with a first down at the 47 yard line. Time permitting, the uh, Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report. John, Craig, and Aaron, they'll have highlights and analysis of all the game. What a wonderful Big Ten season this has been. It, yes, it has come down to the Big Three, but been some great moments for, uh, for a lot Minnesota of teams. Going to a Western Western game, and of course, Joe Paul, 78 years old, can win a share of the title at least and go to the BCS Bowl. Got Holmes, couldn't split him, hanging on to Mason. <laughs> And close again to another first down. They're just moving right down the field. Yeah, the, the, the Michigan zone defense about now is giving out the clock. Again, is off to the left. First blitz in a while. Smith into the teeth of his homes and down at the 30. It's a good thing he went down. He was home free. Had he stayed on his feet, he would have dashed for the score down the sideline, and he knows it. I thought Grant Mason, because of a double clutch by Troy Smith, watch Troy Smith double clutch. One, and then two. I thought Grant Mason was going to get this one, but Troy Smith had enough on it that it just got there. And fortunately, Antonio Holmes did not, it was not able to keep uh, his goes face. across to congratulate him. The Buckeyes led again by Troy Smith. And that offensive line, and down we go to Jackaroo. Coach, congratulations. Tell me about that last drive.